Greg, you are my best friend and love of my life. We loved our dogs and the outdoors, from Yellowstone, the Tetons, to Logan Canyon. The Rocky Mountains were our playground. Remember how we talked through our poetry. You said that every person was one with the universe. You were the happiest when you were one with nature. When you were looking at the Tetons, you said, the smell of the pines, the wind rustling through the forest, the clearest, purest water, the high mountain peaks, the winding trails, the freedom of one's heart, the euphoric natural high that the mountains provide is all the motivation one needs to go on. This gives people hope with challenges they are facing today. But I never suspected that asking you to change and get control of your life would lead to words of one of your later poems. People kill things every day from love to idle time, and some things die anyway from lives to idle minds. It couldn't really hurt to die no more than it hurts to live. The people left always cry when there's nothing left to give. Death is just the final sleep as dust to dirt we go, and little piles of dirt we sweep and winds outside still blow. And the wind kills time itself, it eats away this earth, and everything once known as wealth, the wind will turn to dirt. To know death is to know the wind that whispers through the trees, and that death is just another friend blowing on the breeze. You knew that we should live to give. Yes, my soul is cut in two also, but we will meet again. Life is eternal, and the very best is yet to come. How can a soul live on when it's cut in two, tied by the loss of its mate, even if one knew, heart tearing apart like a storm? Peace can be found in any form Every sunrise, tears flow like a river Every sunset, my heart gets another sliver Can't eat Can't eat.